Hi friends, Misha Crossing here. I'm back with another Viewer's Dreamtown video. I pulled all these Dreamtowns from the comment section of my last Viewer's uh, Dreamtown video. So if you want me to visit your Dreamtown in one of these videos, feel free to comment your town info on this video. If you've commented your town info before, still please comment it on this video because this is the only place I'm going to be looking to uh, pull Dreamtowns from for my next video. All right, let's get into the first town. This town is called Forest. It is by YouTube user a Ninja Ninja. I think they said it was set at 1 a.m., so very peaceful and relaxing. Ooh, there's a little dock up here by the waterfall. Looks like I can probably... Can I glitch into the, the water? No, it's not letting me. Sometimes it lets you glitch into the water off the end of a bridge like that. Oh, this looks so nice. Oop, someone moved out. Oh, I love these paths and the pink and orange flowers together. Yeah. Oh, there's a little apple. Hi. <laughs> hey, who are you? Are you from another town, maybe? Well, have fun here, checkers? Cheekers? Couldn't tell what she was saying. <laughs> there's the campsite. Oh, at the log bench. Oh, more pink and, and orange flowers, but lilies this time. So pretty. Oh, and pink ones up here. I love all the different color flowers. Here's the first character's house, Ab Abraham. Ooh, very open, very bright. Oh, more of the Minimalist series. Oh, this room's so tranquil. Tranquil. <laughs> Got another little boy peeing in here. <laughs> oh, a cool sweets themed room. Oh, I love this upstairs, the exotic and the cabin series together. And a little spring over here. Another peeing boy! <laughs> so many peeing little boys. Uh, got the illuminated clock. I love the blue and purple. I guess that's, yeah, blue and purple pansies around it. Makes it look so... I don't know. It just makes it look like nighttime around it, if that makes sense. The hot spring. Oh, I love this archway sculpture. It's so cool. I saw someone in their town use the archway sculpture as like a dragon's nest and they had different um, eggs from Bunny Day laying around and then a little sign and I think they had a QR code of like a, a dragon footprint. That was really cool. Several villager houses up here together. It's nice to use the save editor to kind of squeeze them close together so they don't take up much room. That's what I did in my first town, Rivendell. I just squeezed them all up the north side of town. Oh, a very teensy little house for the second character. I love all these designs around the train station. It's a really cool mix. Oh, there's their town flag, some cedar trees, has forest on it. What's well, oh, the water well down here. I love these water paths too, or water designs. Oh, here's a street light in the police station down here. Oh, and so many- just- I love the flowers. I love all the pretty colorful flowers. This town is Carmel by Tumblr user Crossing a Star, or Caramel, however you choose to pronounce it. Oh, and I love the cherry blossom season. There's a lot of public works projects around the, um, plaza, but this- yep. Oh, crossing crossingcarmel.tumblr.com? Hmm. I guess they, they changed their URL since uh, making that sign. Oh, I love this right here. The uh, the flowers alternating with these little, I don't know, hedge light fountain design things. <laughs> Looks really cool. It's so open and pretty down here. I love these wide paths right here. There's Wendell. This looks so nice and, and regal and fancy. <laughs> Oh, and the campsite is over here. Oh, they got a uh, um, a tree 
Well, I mean, obviously a tree orchard, a fruit orchard. <laughs> oh, it says orchard down here. Haha, -ha, I completely looked over that. My bad. <laughs> and then this leads to the campsite right by the waterfall. This town has a few villager houses up here by the river as well. Oh, and the lighthouse. Looking out over the ocean and the estuary river part right here. <laughs> here is Cosmo's house. Wonder if it's like Cosmo from uh, Fairly Odd Parents house or if it's more like the uh, flower. <laughs> oh, this is cool. I like this rug. It looks very retro. Yeah, retro, I would say, with the plaid. And that's nice. There's an actual bathroom over here. I like houses that are like realistically livable with a bed and a bathroom and a kitchen area. It's really cute. And over here is Sunny's house. A nice brick exterior. Just love those little hedge designs with the lights on them. Oh, a flower shop. How pretty. Does it say Sunny's flowers? Oh, that's a really cute design on there. Cash register back here. Lots of flowers. Let's see what's upstairs. Maybe Sunny lives above the flower shop. That would make sense. Yep. Oh, it's so bright and pink and happy. <laughs> Cute. I love the uh, the lovely kitchen customized to this really light pink color. And across the bridge is Mare Star's house, I believe. Welcome to Carmel. Thank you, Star. Let's see what Star's house looks like. It looks like it's pretty expanded with the left and right rooms. Oh, this is nice. I like this design on the Alpine series. I really, really like the Alpine series. I just don't like any of the um, designs that the Alpine series comes with, you know, just naturally in the game that you can customize it to, but there's so many really cool, oh, a silver super toilet. Um, there's so many cool custom designs that look really, really nice with the Alpine series. Oh, a small little cozy office. Awesome. Oh, and a princess themed bedroom upstairs. Oh, I love this treasure chest and the stack of books down here at the end of the bed. Oh, that fancy dolly. Yeah, that works really well with the, the princess stuff. Will this play? Oh, opened it from that side. Oh, and she's got a little, oh, how precious. A little, uh, easel right here. That's, is that, isn't that, yeah, that's Wendell's painting uh, from his RV. It's so pretty. Down here's the police station, the cafe, retail, and town hall all beside each other. So organized. Let's go see Town Hall. Oh, there's a modern bench right here. Wait, oh, the Town Hall's up here. <laughs> Next to a fountain, got the Reset Center, and a, of course a clock out front. I forgot to look at the beaches. They have the nice paths and lots of palm trees. This town is Nara. It is by Kaylee. It's her name on, on YouTube. It's set, uh, I guess, a really, really early rainy morning. It looks so peaceful. I love those illuminated trees up there. And then the town hall's right here. Oh, I love that flag. That's really cute. So open up here. All the villager houses down at the bottom. Oh, that Zen clock looks really nice, tucked away in the trees. Let's see what's up here. Oh, the the the, the train station <laughs> up here. Duh. I wasn't really looking at my map where I was going. Oh, the statue fountain looks so nice. I love the white and black flowers. That's what I have going on in my town. There's some throwing beans for us. Oh, there's a flower clock. Proof they got a perfect town. <laughs> oh, this is so nice and cozy over here. The street lamp with the 
water pump. I love this little design. I think I used it in, in Fawn with the water pump. Oh, and the hammock right here. What's this? Oh, a mint double scoop. I will eat that right after laying down in the rain for a moment. Here's the fire pit with a bunch of stumps around it so everybody can sit and warm their hands, dry off from the rain. Mm. I don't think I'd want to eat ice cream while it's raining outside, but it still looks really cute. Oh, the bubble wand. I love this one. <laughs> love how open everything is, but it's still, um, you know, obviously so, so foresty, so, so overgrown. Oh, I love this bench right here. Love all these white flowers together too. Oh, and down here are all the villager houses. Mixed in with some trees, more flowers, more mushrooms. Up here is Bree's house. Looks like the only character house in the game. I love the exterior on it, the way all the cedar trees are placed around it. Oh, she's got that really cute, um, uh, a uh, bow on. Celeste's bow. So precious. Oh my gosh, I love this room. <laughs> oh, the, it, yeah, it looks so nice. I love the combination of the cabin series with the, um, like, it's like, a lot of wood, like a lot of wood color, wood, like brown wood and a lot of white mixed together, but it works so well. I would have never thought to uh, to mix those together that way. It looks great. Oh wow, this like kind of zen spa room. This is really, really well designed as well. Oh, it looks so cool. Oh, this is super cute. Oh, this reminds me of one of Abigail's towns, one of the rooms in one of her towns. I feel like it used uh, just a similar aesthetic with a lot of bookcases and similar plants and I think a fireplace as well. Probably Wilt is the town that I'm thinking of. Oh, there's uh, Wendell's painting again. Man, this whole house is just A+. Plus. 10 out of 10. I love the mixture of the darker wood with the white wood. So many plants. I love the lily... Um, the lily lamp. Is that a lily lamp? I think it's called the lily lamp. <laughs> this is just so relaxing. Walking through this town is great. I love the music. Oh, and here's a sparkler. I can light it up over here by the Zen Garden. <laughs> this town is Jotem, I think is how you pronounce it, by a Tumblr user Danimal Crossing. And I'm like 95% sure. Yeah, I follow Danny on... Uh, on Tumblr and she commented her her dream address and I'd never visited so here we are I, oh I love these paths I've put on one of the uh, outfits she has laid out let's go see Danny's house here those paths are so pretty I've never seen those before I wonder if she made them herself oh this is nice I love that Rococo series oh and the harpsichord oh it's so pretty when it's um turned this way and you can see underneath it Oh, the Regal series in here with Deirdre's picture. Let's see what it says on the back. Born on May 4th. Favorite saying is, legs of an antelope, heart of an eagle. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is cozy. I love <laughs> We've seen the, the exotic series twice. Not a lot of people use that series, but I love it. Especially with the lucky cats over here. That decorative plate looks really, really nice with all this as well. Oh, upstairs is the citrus series. <laughs> this is like the most nostalgic series for me because when I, I think I've said this a couple of times before, but whenever I played Wild World it just, it, and City Folk, just any town I would make in Animal Crossing, I would always want to get the Cabin series and the Citrus series. Those were my two big ones. I have no idea why <laughs> I loved them so much. So this room is, oh, it's great. <laughs> There's the wisteria, wisteria trellis. Oh, flower bed. Looks nice with the snow underneath the flowers. Some villager houses down here. 
Oh, I love this area with the statue fountain. Oh, there's another statue fountain down here. Cool. Another flower bed. More villager houses down here. Ooh, this area is really cool. I love the clovers with the, the tree and the log bench here. Sunset looks really nice against the snow, too. Oh, and here's the, the hammock tucked away over here by the waterfall. Let's talk to Mary here. Hey, what? Are you like a visitor to our town? Well, enjoy it here. You'll find it a dream. <laughs> Oh, there's a fountain, some Jacob's Ladders in front of Town Hall. Oh, that's such a pretty flag. It's a super pretty rose. Ooh, more illuminated stuff. Let's see what's in this present here. It is... Oh, a chocolate heart. Let's munch on it. <laughs> Ribbon and all. Who cares? Oh, this is a nice little sitting area at the stump with some... Uh, uh, uh... <laughs> What do they call it? Lamp posts beside them, so you can always have some light to read. Oh, here's another character's house. Oh, she looks adorable. Oh my goodness, Lana. I do not know what that phrase means. Sorry. Oh, but the picnic blanket down here. Let's go see what's in Lana's house. Oh, this is so simple but so cute. I love that frame and the dark green series. Things so open and pretty right here. Oh, and the fire pit with the campsite right here beside the campground. Kind of overlap on the map a little bit. Okay, friends, that is it for this viewer's dream town tour video. I loved all of them so much. I can't believe, like, I just randomly pick uh, dream towns from the comments and they all end up being so wonderful. You all are so good at making towns. I love visiting them. Uh, so like I said, if you want me to visit your dream town comment, your town name and dream address and any sort of uh, social media account that you'd like me to credit, and a brief description of the town is always nice just to give me an idea because I don't want to visit four snowy towns in a row or four cherry blossom towns in a row in one video. So it's just nice for me to know what they are to get a little, get a little feel before going in. Alright, if you want to follow me on my other social media, links are in the description box. You all have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. Don't forget to be awesome. Bye.